Hi guys and welcome to my new uh, breakdown video. Uh, this is a new vehicle, self-propelled anti-air gun, um, Grayson. Uh, it's a fully functional vehicle, custom made with uh, working quad 30mm uh, guns and uh, surface-to-air missiles. Uh, it came with uh, three skins. We have uh, this is uh, actually. Arctic or snow operation skin. We have a standard woodland skin, a desert skin, and of course we have a same variation of skin, but uh, with a RPG armor add-on. So uh, this video, first of all, will be a little longer because I have uh, some new stuff to explain. Uh, hopefully, you will understand. And uh, before we uh, get into the vehicle, I for always forget to say that uh, this vehicle is available uh, to test it on this map. The demo will be included on my market page uh, store. Uh, you can download it and test it uh, and see if uh, actually if you need this vehicle in your map or is it any good for your project. So yeah, let's test it uh, with this uh, little uh, track. Where is it? Yeah. So we have a working uh, radar dish, and yeah, it's a neat effect. It spins around. Of course, if we get out, it will stop. So yeah, uh, this is a uh, blueprint done without any plugins, and I support this uh, uh, this blueprint, so you don't need to worry about that. And if you follow my naming convention for our wheels and tracks, you can easily modify this blueprint to suit your needs, or to import your own, your own work. So yeah, we have our uh, working tracks, working wheels. We have a custom particle effects, we have a custom sound, and we have a, of course, internal camera. And we have some new uh, high elements that I will just a short bit. Before I say, I have a deep, deep respect for guys doing UI. I never ever, before doing uh, this stuff uh, in Unreal, figure out how to uh, design the UI is uh, tough work so yeah I hope uh, you guys are treated well so we have a uh, working lights like always So if you are wondering what are those, uh, I made a separate video about it. Those are the targeting dummies, drone dummies that I introduced to this project and I will gradually import, uh, import them to my other project. So let's uh, finish this course. And now let's uh, test main weapons. Those are the 30 mm guns and let's acquire this and yeah I don't know if you if you see that but actually we have a lot of and that is why I said for uh, you guys that I designed the HUD element side never ever think that this is uh, the how hard is it, it is to design good UI or even functionally you are I did uh, I don't know how many vehicles for Unreal and uh, I forget to include the hit marker let's shred this little guy and yeah so those are the uh, the 30 millimeter guns they are pretty powerful and they will shred but of course this is the uh, surface to air missile battery we have a lock on so we have a uh, eight missiles on this 
disposal. And they are fully guided missiles. We have a zoom in, zoom on. And if we go to the third person, actually you can see that uh, we fired uh, three missiles and three tubes are now empty. So I think that is a little touch uh, that I like to include with my vehicles. So you can visually see that uh, the three tubes are empty. And I think there is two more, yeah. Have a working part for shells. for shell. We have a working smoke screen. And let's take uh, this little guy. This is the last one. And there it goes. Now let's take a closer look at the uh, blueprint. We have a uh, bunch of new variables that are exposed now so let's take a closer look uh, let's take it for a top uh, sorry if you hear uh, thunder it's a big storm in my town and yeah the summer is over so health this is a self-explanatory actually this is a health point you can Tweak that you can put 10 if you go to play. You, ha you have a now you have 10 points, but the health will start re regenerating pretty fast. I've explained that uh, too. And now you can see that the bar is filling. So if you put it to 10, uh, health refresh rate that is the, the rate that is added uh, for every tick that is passed or uh, you, you add uh, two seconds or uh, every second you uh, you add a uh, two point of health sorry uh, health refresh cooldown rate this is the rate that uh, is needed so if you get damaged with this vehicle eight seconds need to pass before the health will start refreshing and regenerating to 100 percent hide health widget you can hide this uh, health if you want to take a screenshot or you don't just like it, you can hide it. Now, armor left and armor right, that is actually uh, for RPG armor, no reactive armor, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, health armor is 20-20, uh, that is a couple of shots, well, maybe more, of, uh, more shots of all these guns and maybe one shot from a tank before it's uh, destroyed so you have a left side and right side so you have a variation uh, now uh, this is the new variables that I exposed to this, this blueprint but I will also update my other two vehicles using uh, guided missiles mainly uh, H Raider and H uh, Air Cobra so a uh, missile delay time Currently it's two and a half seconds, and let's uh, let's visualize that. So two and half seconds uh, when you fire a missile, uh, you will have a, another missile ready in a two and a half seconds to fire. So uh, if you put this maybe to uh, let's put it to one second. So we can every one second you will hear that sound and missile is ready to fire. So now uh, the default value is uh, two and a half seconds, and we will get to this value value uh, uh, back. A missile lock on set time so basically you need you, uh, you need a half seconds to acquire the target but if, for example if you put it to four and go to play you will need a four seconds to acquire the target 
it's a little bit too slow, but you can tweak the tweak the value here. Uh, half second, maybe it's too fast for someone. Maybe you put it to one or to two, two seconds. Secondary gun overheat. Those are uh, heat mechanics for uh, 30 millimeter guns. So uh, on every bullet that's fired, you add a certain value to heat. So, for example, if you want to increase uh, increase the speed of overheating, you can you can put this uh, to maybe four. And yeah, you can see that the uh, heat bar is going much much faster. And default value is uh, 0.75. And I think that uh, this work well, works well. Uh, if you want to disable the heat mechanic, you put it to zero. And now you can fire all day long, and your guns will not overheat ever. Sorry, guys. I just like to shoot these things out of the sky. So let's put it to default value. Now, uh, use this is a very important category. Use particles. Those are particles for uh, wheels. For example, if you don't want to use particles on for any reason, you, uh, you can disable enable it. Use RPG. Error. It is actually RPG. If you did check this, this box you will add the RPG armor and you can set the health back there on health section use lights this is a four level maybe if you start with uh, lights on the level you can use uh, lights uh, use vehicle without the character this is very important uh, 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 variable so if you have a level when you want to start with this vehicle uh, it so what you need to do is uh, check this box and use auto possess and you are set to go so if you don't uh, for any reason forget to uh, uh, check this uh, little box and you use this uh, auto possess you will get a bunch of errors and the vehicle won't move so yeah I remember that guys use free camera this is a camera to follow the rotation of the turret if you want to use it don't use it uncheck this but I really don't know why you would do that in a tank blueprint use invent pitch that is a uh, self explanatory it's uh, for inverting the pitch of the turret Use the planching app that is a new variable that I introduced and I will demonstrate it. Like I said, uh, you have a NPM missile, but if you check, uh, use the planching ammo. Now, if you see uh, on the HUD where is the missile icon, you see that uh, it's gradually filling up and yeah, the AA missiles will replenish. Uh, and actually, you can visualize it in a third person. Now we have a eight tubes, and if we fire. Let's find the drone. Now you can see one is empty, and yeah, now it's uh, full again. So. You can use that in your game if you want it, and we will uh, we will uh, there is a, an, another uh, variable tied to this one. So use brake brake clock after firing. Uh, this is uh, also uh, uh, the thing that you can use when you uh, acquire the target and fire the missile. The target will uh, stay locked it on, but if you check this box and you acquire the target fire the missiles then the target will not be uh, locked on and you will need to reacquire the target again i know uh, I, I was thinking to include uh, one or two uh, options and i went with both 
and use this a little volume so that you guys have a I don't know you can you decide for yourself use driver hatch and this is a uh, just little things that you can do in your level you can open or close this hatch to, to give it a little more variation to the vehicle for example if you have vehicles parked like that you can uh, have one open the hatch other close so yeah it's a just a little variation for your vehicle uh, subtle thing and yeah I think that it works well uh, use delay AA missile and now this is another variable that is actually uh, tied with this uh, uh, little uh, number here what does uh, it do is uh, now if this box is checked in you have a two and a half second delay before a missile is ready but if you uncheck this little box that you can actually sorry I forget to uncheck it so what is happening that you can now you can have any delay and you can pretty much fire all eight missiles simultaneously and I think that is that that is overpowered so you can use a delayed a missile but uh, on the other hand if you have uh, something uh, like arcade game when you have a bunch of missile firing you don't want to have any delay so yeah if you can use that uh, if you use delay a missile and lower this time to maybe one second so every one second you will have a, a missile ready that is pretty fast too uh, and two point uh, two and a half seconds are uh, my my preferred time so uh, there is a one thing that you can do actually and it's a pretty funny if you use delay a missile and uh, use replenishing ammo and for example uh, let's uh, take this variable and lower it to the one. Now, you have an endless supply of rockets. And yeah, you can use that in your game if you want. Maybe you have a heavy game or something like that. It's a uh, funny, fun result. It's a nice thing to mess. Now let's take it to the default variables. Now uh, skins, self-explanatory. We have a woodland skin, we have a desert skin, and we have an Arctic skin. And yeah, you, you switch it just checking and checking these boxes. Uh, to red zone, this is another. Uh, variable that exposed to blueprint uh, this is a zoom amount and actually you need to lower this number because it works on FOV uh, currently it's uh, 45 if you put it to let's say 20 zoom in The default value is uh, 45, and uh, this uh, AA missile ammo. Uh, when you start the game, you have uh, eight missiles at your disposal, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe you just want two missiles player to have. Maybe eight is overpowered, so you set a max missile here. You set it between one and eight. That is the maximum. So if you have two missiles. Have uh, two missiles, and if you don't use uh, the punishing ammo, that is dead, you are empty. So, default value is 8, and this is a variable that we already looked uh, but I didn't explain. Uh, uh, user plunge time. So, if you 
use replenishing ammo and this uh, time uh, will be relevant now so every five seconds you will replenish one rocket maybe if you just uh, lower it to the one every one second you will replenish the rocket and actually uh, that will be uh, pretty overpowered and you will have an endless supply of rockets but hey you can use it in your game or project if you want it and last uh, it's a countermeasures time and that is uh, actually a small you go to the vehicle and go to the inside we have a 15 countdown delay time before the smoke is ready to fire again and if you go and lower this number maybe to 5 seconds now we have a 5 seconds timer of course you can get silly and put this number to 1 and you will get something like that So default value is uh, 15. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, those are all the variables. Uh, I'm most proud of the hit marker actually. I don't know how I forget to include that. Again, for anyone who is doing UI design, I have a deep respect for you guys. Because I didn't know how hard it is to remember or design all, all, all of that stuff and uh, use a replenishing ammo that was actually trickier to do because of uh, uh, skeletal mesh meshes and replenishing ammo and all of the missiles all of eight of them and uh, there is a pretty uh, I, I did uh, I don't know how many many hours of testing because uh, I didn't. Uh, I had uh, some errors, but after some time, I figured it out, and yeah, I'm very, very proud of that. So let's take another closer look on how uh, you are actually adding your uh, meshes to the targeting system. So we will import the. This is uh, the Stinger target. We have a dummy drone actually here. So blueprint and yeah this is a drone I made a separate video for that and I will put in the description but if you put it in your level yeah it will fly around I will include this uh, eventually uh, blueprint with all of my vehicles and I update them gradually so let's take on how uh, you can add your own meshes to the targeting system for example uh, let's take uh, this is uh, just a sphere but let's pretend that you have another I don't know helicopter that you want to target with this and the first thing that I do when designing the blueprint I want to uh, is is of you guys so that you don't have to do uh, the complicated stuff if I can so yeah this is uh, the the stinger target and if we go to the viewport you can shoot it. you can not lock it on so let's pretend this is the the uh, your custom helicopter uh, you search for tag and you add a tag and the tag is named AA missiles I think if I don't uh, misspell it so yeah this is and the thing that uh, it needs to be movable movable not stationary not static it needs to be a movable dynamic object but if it's a blueprint or vehicle it's so yeah I didn't spell it right sorry guys Ah, uh, miss, miss, not uh, plural, single uh, missile. So, sorry for guys, this will be in the description of the 
page uh, on marketplace so you put uh, a, a missile missile one no, missiles missile and your customer is ready for targeting that is that it's a very easy process but I've explained and how to add that hit markers for example if we go to level now we shoot I don't know, this wall this sphere we don't have a hit markers but for example this is your helicopter and you want to have a hit marker you have a you add another tag and hit marker sorry guys again spelling hit marker and yeah, now I will explain that uh, one problem that I had with uh, this targeting system and actually I will uh, mm, I think that they will uh, change the targeting system on my other vehicle uh, when I was designing this blueprint, uh, the way that the target uh, system is working is on, on the sphere. So actually, there is an imaginary sphere here, and when you hit something, that is uh, the, the the return the target. But I wanted to use uh, the cone so that you can shoot a wider range of this, uh, for example, drone and I tried a bunch of stuff uh, line trace by channel, line trace by objects, uh, multi-sphere line trace and eventually I got the cone working uh, with a bunch of, of uh, vectors but it was too complicated uh, what was the aiming is uh, for example if you have this drone and currently on the sky it's a very tiny so you want to have a big circle around it uh, to have uh, some uh, leeway on targeting so that for example you can get it a little close and it will acquire the target you don't need to, to be centered on it so I was trying uh, with spheres with I don't know pretty much anything and I didn't know how to implement that uh, for you guys to be very easily and actually what I recommended and after some testing the, the, that I done uh, this, uh, the solution was pretty easy so for example if we go to this blueprint let's select it I was looking uh, like this no I was looking at this sphere and I was looking I know how many hours and putting it all around the map I didn't uh, still design this drone and I wanted to be acquired in the larger circle so uh, uh, first thing that was come in mind was cone but uh, actually when you use the cone you, you trace a bunch of objects that you don't need and that hit, hits uh, performance pretty bad and actually when I uh, tested it, it it was working but the performance uh, loss was very very bad even on my computer it's not uh, the most on the least but it's i7 on 4.5 gigahertz and yeah you were you were tracing the terrain you were tracing everything just to keep on trace on this little sphere and I was looking this sphere for I know how many hours and I it just came at me what if I duplicate this sphere and made it larger but invisible so when you get your uh, sphere trace closer you can you actually targeting all this area and so it, that was a pretty simple solution and it works well because uh, for example if you have a uh, little object like uh, helicopters you want to have a big circle around it to be able to target and what I done with uh, that uh, the dummy is actually you have this big sphere here 
that is invisible and sole purpose of this sphere is to be acquired by the target so you can make it larger you can make it uh, smaller and in that way you can control uh, how many uh, radius is acquired needed for targeting I don't know if I had uh, any sense playing this but I spent I don't know how many days uh, designing the blueprint for uh, cone trees targeting and after I was done it was bad pretty bad and solution was I don't know so simple that I don't know it was so simple uh, and one day it just uh, got me so yeah uh, if you want to, uh, for example, if you have a, a, another helicopter that you uh, and it's not a big target. For example, let's take that you have a. Let's take that you have a ballistic missile, cruise missile that you want to be able to target with this vehicle. And getting it, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast, and you cannot catch it uh, with a sphere to trace. And what actually you can do, you can modify this ballistic missile by adding uh, a sphere, sphere collision, for example. And let's compile it. choose a custom and leave those two on block and actually now you can tweak the sphere radius now targeting system for this uh, Let's hide it in the game. So this sphere is actually influencing the targeting system, and it is not uh, now. It is not so uh, little uh, little target to 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 track around. So I hope that I made some sense for you guys. So if you have a if you have a small vehicle or missile or I don't know anything like that and you want to have a bigger circle around then just include this trigger trigger collision it's a far cheaper solution than the cone targeting system I think for now maybe I will find a better solution but for now that is the solution that I have and yeah so I included this drone that you do can look uh, look it and yeah uh, use it in your map so yeah guys uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope that I had some sense explaining this blueprint uh, like I said demo will be available and it's uh, on marketplace now so yeah guys uh, thank you for